Yo, yo, what up? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So listen, I need to tell you guys that you can never have enough women, okay? You can never have enough women, okay? Meaning you guys need to make sure you are talking to a lot of girls. You have a lot of girls on your team now. Now, you know, typically I would say, you know, a guy can should have maybe like, three or you know two to three girls in rotation right here and there right but if if, we, if we're going to really really get into this right if you want to really know what's popping you can have that rotation but you're you still have to have little things set up on the side even beyond that you understand what i'm saying you gotta have chick after chick after chick and the reason why i'm saying this is because this is going to help out in a lot of different ways. One, is going to keep you from being needy. Because if you have a lot of different women, right? That means that you're going to have more sex. And that means when you meet a new girl or whatever, you're not going to be as needy and as you know you're not going to have that thirsty energy because you have, you know, other girls you're fucking with, right? Also, how this helps is what happens is that women, they're all over the goddamn place. So what that means is some chicks are going to be flaky. You know, even it, look, this is even girls that you've been fucking with. You could have a fuck buddy that y'all been fucking like clockwork every week. Everything is all good. The sex is good. She's cooperating. And then one day she's going to call you. She's be like, yo, you know, you trying to, you trying to go over there and get you, get you, you get your dick wet. And she's going to be like, um, you know, I'm I'm kind of not feeling good today. Like, you know, I'm having, like, I'm stressed out at work. I'm having a little issue, right? And then so what's going to happen is you ain't going to be fucking unless you have another girl, you know, as backup. Now, this is for you guys out there who actually like to have sex, who like to have fun with chicks. This is, this, this video is for you. This isn't for... Uh, the guys out there who is, is, you know, one bad situation away from being MGTOW. Okay. I'm not talking to you guys. I'm talking to the guys who actually like to fuck with chicks, who like having sex, who like, um, even just dealing with girls beyond sex. Cause you know, you have chicks that's going to help y'all with other things, but you need to have multiple women. You understand? Because what's going to happen is there's going to be some girls you're going to have to kick to the curb. Because they not acting right. Then you got to replace that chick. Right? Then you're going to have chicks where you're trying to have sex. And they have the women problems or whatever it is. You know. Um, you know. They got their period. Some girls don't feel good fucking on their period and shit. Um, you know. She's upset about something. She's not feeling emotionally well at that time. You know. Whatever. You understand? There's, there's a lot of shit that goes down. Or she, you know, she's just not feeling it anymore. She'll give you that call or that text or whatever saying, hey, you know, I think I should, um, we should, uh, you know, I'm feeling like I want to do other things and yada, yada, yada. You know, you're going to get those girls you just meet who you think is about to be on and popping. And they're going to hit you with a, with, a, with, a, with a text talking about, hey, you know, I just don't think we're a good match. I don't think we, I don't think we get along well. You know, good luck. I, I, you know, I don't think this is going to work out. And you're just like, God damn, I didn't even get to hit this shorty yet. You understand? I didn't even get to smash. Right? So you want to be able to have a constant rotation of chicks coming through so that, you know, you ain't got to really worry about all that shit. Because see, this is the thing. When you only got one girl or maybe even two girls or something like that, you mess with and that girl does some some goofy shit you're gonna overlook the goofy shit because you know she's the only chick you're fucking with you're gonna be like all right well i guess i'm i gotta let this slide because I'm, I'm trying to, i'm trying to get some some shit popping but if you got three four five six other girls you fucking with when she's on some goofy shit it's gonna be easy for you to charge it to the game so it's gonna be harder for you to charge the chick to the game if you only have one of them because then you're in that scarcity uh, you know, situation right there. But if you got six, seven girls you fucking with and this chick acting funny, it's like, all right, well, f fuck out of here. You feel what I'm saying? See, the thing is, you, you, you want to get to the level of the game where even when you have that one girl, 
and she's fucking up, you still want to tell her, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? You don't want to still, like, try to make shit happen, even though she's being on some dumb shit. But the thing is, it's easier when you have other girls, you know, around and, and that you're fucking with. You feel what I'm saying? Because it just makes things flow better. It makes, you know, you're, you're, you're a little bit more relaxed when you got a few chicks who's cooperating with you and, and making shit pop. Because then it makes it easier for you to get other girls. You understand? To have their, you know, in, in, in the stash. You feel what I'm saying? But you, you, you got to have, you know, more chicks. Like, I remember one time... Um. I was messing with, I think it was like, yeah, four or five girls or whatever at the time. And there was like, I think, uh, a Tuesday, you know, it was, it was like a Wednesday and a Thursday. I was supposed to see, uh, all four of these girls. So on Wednesday, I was going to see two of the chicks and, um, Thursday, I was going to see the other two chicks. And it was one other chick I was messing with, but I was going to see her maybe, in, you know, in the next week or whatever. But basically I was going to see two girls on Wednesday, two girls on Thursday. Right. And so what happened was on Wednesday, one of the girls flaked. But I was able to see the other girl. And then on Thursday, one of the girls flaked, but I was able to see the other girl. You feel what I'm saying? Because I had other chicks that I was fucking with. Right. It didn't matter that those two girls flaked on both those days because I had the other two there. So I was still able to get the shit popping with those two girls. You feel what I'm saying? So the more girls you have, right, the, you know, better your situation is when it comes to you being able to get sex, when it comes to you being able to, you know, deal with a girl. Because even, look, I remember I was, um, what was I doing? There was another girl I was messing with and, like, I needed, like, I was like, look, I need, I want to use your, your space <laughs> to, to film some shit. You feel what I'm saying? So she was like, oh, okay, yeah, we can make that happen. And then something happened where we wasn't able to make it happen. But then I still wanted a, a, a different space. So then I called up a ch another chick I was fucking with. And I was like, yo, let me use this space real quick. You understand? So because I had the other girl there, I was able to use her space. See, it's not just necessarily about the sex thing. It's just about having all those options. Because when one falls off, you got another one right there. So what, what dudes will do is they'll get maybe one or two girls and then they'll just like, you know, chill. But it's like, yeah, that's cool. But when those two girls ain't available, you know what I'm saying? You want that third one to be able to make it happen. See, my thing is I want to be, you know, in a situation where. I can have sex anytime I want. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Anytime I want. And the more women you have, the, 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 the easier it is for you to do that. Or let's say, you know, I have a friend where he, he, ha he messes with a bunch of girls, but he has girls in different like cities, different states. So when he travels to a certain place, he's like, yo, I'm coming through. Um, you know, he ain't got to spend no money on no Airbnb or none of that shit. He just stays over the chick's house. You feel what I'm saying? And then handles his business and does do, you know, he does what he got to do. You feel what I'm saying? So the thing is, you know, don't ever feel like you, you know, you, you, you're dealing with these chicks and you're like, okay, well, I'm good. I got enough. I'm fucking with these two or three girls. I got enough. You understand what I'm saying? Keep, keep it going, bro. Keep the shit going because those two or three girls next week, all three of those chicks could not want to fuck with you. They'll all fall off. I've been in them situations. You feel what I'm saying? So it, it, it's a thing where, you know, you want to constantly be dealing with these chicks. Now, if you're in a situation where, let's say you have a girlfriend or, a, a, you know, let's say a chick you've been, that's been down with you for a minute, those chicks usually they'll, they'll, you know, they'll stick around longer, meaning like you can, they're more dependable, you understand? But even still, you're dealing with chicks. So at any moment, it could be some other shit. That will make her, you know, change her mind, you know, not want to fuck with you no more. You know, she's feeling a certain type of way, whatever it is. You understand? 
she's emotional today, she's stressed out because of work, whatever the fuck it is. So whatever shit she's going through, you still want to make sure that you have something else on the side. Click the link below to get the ebook 60 second game. In this book, you learn how your confidence, verbal communication skills, appearance, response to rejection, and honesty can affect your game. Click the link below to get your copy today. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. What's up, it's dating and life coach, Mr. Mr. Locario, go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership Program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the Bad Boy Membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com.